Hey guys, this is Landrum. I'm going to walk you through these questions real quick and show you what you need to know to, uh, to finish this assignment for, as quickly as you may. So first of all, you have the close reading, the key idea. Like what does a motion illustration rely on to work as an optical illusion? Motion illustrations are these two things here. This thing and this thing are motion illustrations. Because when you look at the picture, they do appear to be moving, right? Especially with human color. These black and white ones aren't really doing the trick, but they, they kind of can. Anyways, those are motion illustrations. And you gotta figure out what those kind of things rely on so that they can work as an optical illusion. All right, now look at this next one, central idea and details. How can optical illusions fool our eyes and brain? Describe at least two ways. So the whole point of this article, the whole central idea, is that optical illusions uh, fool your brain. They don't, they're not really moving, right? Those, those we, we just saw those, uh, what they're called, moving illustrations, they're not really moving. They just look like it. So you gotta find two ways, two specific ways. Now where you can find these answers are from a variety of places. So you need to be specific. So you could pull something from here. When we're talking about how the Penrose Triangle works. Or maybe you can pull something from here. And when it talks about what are these things relying on, what are they actually doing? So these kind of specific ways, um, that's what you need, specific examples. So now let's go to the back real quick. Um, vocabulary. What is our meaning of interpretation in paragraph two? What happens when the brain's interpretation of visual information is wrong? So we have two questions here you gotta answer, okay? So we go back to paragraph two. Paragraph two says, research on optical illusion highlights one major point, our visual system can't accurately process all the information that our eyes take in. So here's, here's the sense of the vocab word. It works on the basis of the most likely interpretation. Sometimes the brain is wrong, then an optical illusion occurs. So what does it mean when your brain interprets things? It's not translating it from one thing to another. We're not talking about translation. We're talking about interpretation. So don't pull up a dictionary answer. That won't help you. Figure out what it's trying to say in paragraph two with the brain looking at this data and trying to make sense of it. And the second question, what happens when the brain's interpretation of visual information is wrong? Well, what happens? We've said a lot about what happens when the brain does get things wrong. So just write down what happens according to the passage. Four, which optical illusion did you find the most effective and why? So this is pretty straightforward. For me, it'd be the Penrose Triangle because I love the 3D effect. The 3D illusion is awesome. But go through there and write and tell me which of those things were, was most effective to you. All right, guys, good luck. If you have any questions, come find me.